There may still be up to 100 uncontacted tribes residing in some of the most remote regions on the planet. Anthropologists who are trying to understand how societies have changed over time might learn a lot from the people of these tribes who have preserved traditions that have been long forgotten by the rest of the world. Let's take a look at the 10 tribes that have avoided modern civilization. At number 10, we have the Surma people of Ethiopia. For years, the Surma tribe in Ethiopia avoided all communication with the West. Although being well known to Westerners for their enormous lip plugs, they had no interest in cooperating with any form of authority. The Surma, who lived in small communities of a few hundred people, survived centuries of colonization, war and independent struggles while carrying on with their little cattle herding. In the 1980s, a few Russian doctors were the first to communicate with them. At number 9, we have the Peruvian tribe discovered by tourists. A tour party was marching through the Peruvian jungle when it unexpectedly came face to face with people from an unidentified tribe. Everything was caught on camera as the tribe made an effort to interact with the tourists. But because the tribesmen didn't speak Spanish or English, they quickly gave up and left the perplexed moderns in their wake. When Peruvian authorities looked at the video, they quickly realized that the tour party had stumbled into one of the few remaining tribes that anthropologists were unaware of. The tourists discovered them without even trying. Scientists had been aware of their existence and had been looking for them for years without luck. Next, at number 8, we have the lone Brazilian, the most isolated man on the planet, according to Slate. There is a tribe in the Amazon made up entirely of one man. The man, like the enigmatic Bigfoot, always vanishes just as scientists appear to be on the verge of discovering him. Why is he so in demand and why can't he be left alone? It turns out that he is the last remaining member of his uncontacted Amazonian tribe. He is the only person in the world who retains his people's customs and language. Contacting him could be like discovering a treasure trove of information. Not least of which would be the knowledge of how he survived for decades entirely on his own. At number 7, we have Jackson Whites, a previously unheard of tribe of Native Americans who walked out of the woods just 35 miles from New York City in the 1790s. Somehow, they had managed to avoid all contact with the settlers despite some of the largest battles of both the Seven Years' War and the Revolutionary War being waged in their backyard. At number 6, we have the Vietnamese Rock tribe. This tribe emerged from the jungle after one particularly enormous American bombing raid during the Vietnam War. Due to the jungle damage, the Rock decided to stay on in modern Vietnam rather than return to their traditional homes. But the tribal values picked up over hundreds of years soon clashed with the communist Vietnamese government leading to mutual animosity. At number 5, there was Ishi, the last Native American undisturbed by settlers. He calmly walked out of the forests in California in 1911, in full tribal dress, only to be arrested by the stunned police. After being questioned by police, it was learned that he was the sole survivor of a raid by settlers three years earlier. At number 4, there are the Brazilian tribes. The Brazilian government has been trying to find out how many people live in the isolated Amazon regions for reasons of population control. Its aircraft therefore fly regularly over the jungle with photographic equipment, hoping to locate and count the people below. In 2007, a routine low-flying photo operation suddenly came under fire by arrows shot from the bows of a previously unknown tribe. At number 3, we have the New Guinea tribes. Hundreds of languages, cultures and tribal customs are almost certainly still unknown to modern man somewhere in New Guinea. 
Rural New Guinea, however, is rarely explored due to the largely uncharted terrain and the unknown character of tribal inhabitants amid reports of cannibalism. While the new tribes are discovered on a regular basis, many expeditions that set out to find them are cut short and sometimes simply go missing. Michael Rockefeller, for example, set out in 1961 with the intention of locating some of the lost tribes. Rockefeller, the heir to one of the world's largest fortunes, was separated from this group and is believed to have been captured and eaten by tribesmen. At number 2, there are Pintupi 9. An unknown group of aboriginals was discovered near a settlement in Western Australia in 1984. Following their escape, the Pintupi 9, as they are later known, were tracked down by speakers of their own language and told of a location where water flowed from pipes and there was a general surplus of food. While the majority of the group chose to stay in modern town with a few becoming traditional artists, one member, Yari Yari, returned to the Gibson Desert where he still lives today. Finally, at number one, we have Sentinelese tribe of the Andaman Islands located in the Bay of Bengal. We already have dedicated a video about the Sentinelese people which you can find by clicking on the i button. Be sure to give it a watch. They are a community of approximately 250 people. They are fascinating because they have managed to remain largely isolated from the outside world for centuries. Indeed, the few peaceful encounters that have occurred have provided some fascinating insights into their culture. However, if you plan on visiting North Sentinel Island, you should think twice. When outsiders have attempted to contact the Sentinelese, they have been met with a hail of arrows. In fact, after their leader was shot in the thigh and two local guides were killed, a National Geographic team was forced to return. Despite their isolation, the Sentinelese have survived natural disasters such as the 2004 Boxing Day tsunami unlike many modern people living in similar environments. It's truly fascinating to consider how this tribe has managed to keep their way of life going for so long. In conclusion, the world's uncontacted tribes offer a fascinating window into how cultures have evolved over time. These tribes have maintained their traditional ways of life and rituals despite the advancements of modern civilization. Thank you for tuning in and we hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe and leave us a comment. We will be back next week with another exciting episode. As always, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. God bless you all.